Good morning. Welcome to dot programming dot blogspot dot com. Uh, today we will learn speech synthesizer system uh, in WPF through which we can uh, design a system and uh, in which system um, I will implement a male voice as well as a female voice. So uh, when we write something in the text box and press the checkbox uh, or you can set the checkbox select the checkbox okay now take uh, for uh, male and female for um, radio buttons so when we select the radio buttons then please see this video uh, I will add a system dot speech uh, reference library in our project that is there okay now uh, when we click on the radio button that is like mail that text box text speak in mail a voice okay so what do what thing we do for this uh, types of task first of all add a text box button and the two radio buttons so let's see text box control resize it also set the accept return property of the text box because I want to take a many more characters in text box so use accept return property of the text box now get uh, now set the text of the button that is get voice I remove the text from the text box and set in the accept return property that is true Now take two radio button, one for male and second for female. Content of the radio button is male radio button and female radio button. <coughs> Sorry, male voice and female voice. Now when we click on the uh, button control then here we add is namespace that is system dot speech dot synthesizer system dot speech dot synthesizes that is the namespace <coughs> speech synthesizes sizers is a class in this namespace so first of all create a object of speech synthesizer class by using this uh, instance name that is ss we can invoke method of that class so ss dot first of all check the radio buttons which one is selected the name of the radio button is it's not assigned so signed it mail radio female radio okay mail radio dot checked is checked is double equals to true <coughs> a 
access dot select voice by hint method and I want to take a single parameter here and that is voice gender dot male after that speak which is given in text box so name of the text box is all not assigned n equals to input text that's fine now similarly check for the me female so thank you thank you very much for watching this video tutorial please keep watching my all video tutorials which is related to WPF thank you thank you very much